What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today we are partnered up with Argonaut Brandy to bring you three ways to hack your classic whiskey cocktails with California Brandy. And if you wanna know more about Argonaut, we did a deep dive video, so just click the link above my head. But right now, let's get into the cocktails. So the first cocktail that we're gonna be doing today is a Brandy Old Fashioned. And of course we're gonna be making an Old Fashioned because it is the quintessential classic cocktail. Uh, and it is one that really showcases all of the kind of nuanced notes in the whiskey that you usually make it with. So for this particular cocktail, we're gonna be using the Fat Thumb uh, expression of Argonaut. Uh, this is an expression that uses a blend of Alembic and coffee stills. You know, your usual whiskey notes, you know, it is, it is aged in, in bourbon barrels. So you get that vanilla and clove and nutmeg and uh, you get those caramelized notes. You get, you get that oak, but then you also get like caramelized pear and bright red apple and you get these really bright kind of notes that uh, really make it shine in this drink. So first thing we're gonna do is just a couple of dashes, couple few dashes of Angostura bitters or any aromatic bitters that you'd like to use. So I like to use Demerara sugar and it gives you like those not kind of nice molasses notes so it goes really well in this cocktail. So we're just gonna put that in there. Then we're gonna do just a small dash of soda to help the sugar dissolve into the drink. And then we're gonna give it a nice crush. You can use anything you want. I, if you happen to have a muddler, have that. If you got a wooden spoon, do that too. <laughs> or the back of a spoon is a nice way to do it as well if you have like a bar spoon with a flat end. You wanna crush it up enough so that it is not fully syrup, but you want to have like a little grainy kind of character to it. And then we're just gonna do two ounces of the Argonaut Fat Thumb. And I have a pre-cut nice piece of ice for this. So we're just gonna put that in our glass and then stir it in. And you don't have to worry too much about over stirring because if you take your ice right out of the fridge, even if it's been tempered for a little bit and it's been sweating, it's gonna be very hard for you to over dilute this unless you let it sit for a long time. So stir until it's nice and frosted on the outside of the glass. All right, and then we're just gonna go with our typical old fashioned garnish of an orange peel. We're gonna zest it over like so. And then I'm gonna cut a nice something with it. This is one we've been doing kind of a lot lately. Well, a couple of videos anyway. There we go, let's taste it. And just wonderful. So you get those nice notes. You get those, a little bit of the kind of molasses flavor from the Demerara sugar, and you get a little bit of added spice from the Angostura bitters, but then you get that bright red apple, that those nice pear notes, banana. You get that like kind of apple cobbler. You get the vanilla, the nutmeg. It's kind of all in there. It makes for a nice, almost brighter old fashioned, and you still have those oak notes as well. So the next cocktail we're doing is called a California Boulevardier. And as the name suggests, it is like a classic Boulevardier with little bit tweaked specs and some California spirits. So for this cocktail, we're gonna be using the Argonaut Speculator, which has a lot of the uh, similar notes to the Fat Thumb, but because it's uh, mainly a coffee or column still, you're gonna get some brighter fruit notes and you're gonna get some honeysuckle, chamomile, a little bit brighter, and it's gonna shine really well in this cocktail. So. This is really easy, it's just equal parts. We're just doing one ounce of sweet vermouth. I'm using the Vaya today, but you can use, or is it Via? Vaya. But uh, you can use uh, Cocchi di Torino or Dolan or Martini and Rossi or, or anyone that floats your boat. And then I'm gonna be using the Lo-Fi Aperitif uh, Gentian Amaro that they make. Uh, again, you can use any Aperitivo you like. We're gonna do one full ounce of this as well. The Grand Classico would also work pretty well. And then an ounce of our Argonaut Speculator. And then we're just taking our pre-cut ice and putting it in here. And I put a nice big piece of that. Cut a very nice big piece of ice, but if you stir it, it will melt and it will start going down into your cocktail. Uh, this is a little bit big, but we're gonna work with it. It's gonna sit real nicely in this cocktail as we stir, I think. There we go. And then 
Again, we're just going to pull off a nice orange peel. I think I'm going to go with a classic, just sort of, and then stick it in there. Let's give it a taste. Oh, so it's really nice. So that night, that brandy just blends so well with the gentian amaro and the sweet vermouth that just all plays into each other uh, really, really, really well. Still get a little bit of that oak and then you have that gentian on the finish. It's really, really nice. So there it is, the California Boulevardier. So the last cocktail we're doing today is called a California Gold Rush, which is a California twist on the very popular modern classic created by TJ Siegel at Milk and Honey in 2001, The Gold Rush. A lot of you guys that are watching this channel are very familiar with this cocktail. It is California brandy, hence the California Gold Rush. All right, first thing we're gonna do is just uh, juice a lemon. We're gonna juice it fresh. Three quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon juice. Three quarters of an ounce of a honey syrup. We are gonna be using Speculator again for this one. We're gonna be doing two full ounces. Then we're gonna put some ice into our glass. Perfect. And some ice into our tin. Marry our cocktail in. And give it the old double strain. And this one gets no garnish. There it is, the Gold Rush. Let's take a sip. Oh, that's nice. So you'd think that the honey and the lemon would get rid of anything that you could taste as far as the nuances and the brandy, but you really don't. You still get that vanilla, you still get that oak, you still get those kind of caramelized notes, and then you get the honey, and then you get that nice tartness from the lemon. It's just really nicely well-balanced drink. So there it is, the California Gold Rush. So there you have it guys, three different ways that you can substitute California brandy for your classic whiskey cocktail. If you wanna know more about Argonaut, go to argonautbrandy.com or at Argonaut Brandy on Instagram. And if you like this channel, please hit like and subscribe and check us out on Patreon and YouTube memberships. And I'll see you guys on another time. Leandro out.